Balasana, forward folding, using the Om Jim, and from there we're going to transition into some downward dog sequencing. So we're going to hang our sling, approximately mid-thigh height, and place the handles in the very same loop that we've placed the sling. We're going to secure the sling across the front of our thighs, just below the fold, the inguinal fold in our upper thigh. And holding the fabric there, you're going to begin to walk forward until you feel the material grow taut. And it's really important here to make sure that your heels are well rooted into the floor. Hooking the fabric with your thumbs, lengthen through the spine, drawing your body weight forward with a nice long straight spine. Release yourself over the material. Relax your hands, relax your hand. <sighs> make sure your heels maintain contact with the floor for stability. And we're going to tuck our hands inside our elbows and introduce a little bit of a sway here to just sort of move you into one side at a time. And you can also gently shake out your head a little bit to make sure that your neck remains nice and loose. And now we're going to transition into downward facing dog. Begin by placing your hands on the floor anywhere where you can comfortably be in contact with the floor. And you're going to take a step back with one leg and onto the toes and the other into a nice open down dog. Make sure to continue to drop your hips down. Let the sling support your body weight. And you're going to move your hands a little bit further away from you. Taking a nice deep breath. Exhale, release down to the heels. Your hands might slide a little bit. And come into a nice open down facing dog. And we'll take a few breaths here to give the spine time to adjust. You want to make sure that the material is resting underneath your hip bone, not on top for comfort, and there should be no pressure on your abdomen. So now we're going to challenge ourselves a little bit by shifting up and away from the floor. We're going to move our right foot just a little bit in towards the left and adjust our right hand as well. We're going to shift our weight over into the left hand and we're going to raise our left leg up. Push down into your right heel and now raise your right arm up. Lengthen through the arms and legs, come up a little higher and now, now as you release, Bring your foot down, sweep your right arm through to your left leg and come into a twisted dog. Looking up at the ceiling from underneath your armpit. Try to push down into both heels. And if you feel stable here, you can lift your left arm up to complete the twist. It's a very powerful release in the hamstrings. And now we're going to change sides. You turn your hands back into downward dog. Adjust your stance. Once again, now we're going to bring the chest away from the floor. And this time we're going to go the other way. We're going to shift over towards the right. We're going to lift the left hand. We're going to shift over to the left. Raise the right leg. Make sure the weight is evenly distributed between the hip bones. Lower it into your left heel. Raise the chest away from the floor. Lift a little higher. Good. And as you lower the leg, reach through to the hold of your leg with your left hand. And come into twisted dog here. And to complete the twist, once again, let's bring that arm up. So now to come out of the downward dog, we're just going to begin to walk hand and foot forward until our heels touch the floor, separating the feet with the part again, we're going to hook into our material, push into your sling as you lengthen through the spine, coming up with a nice straight back. And that concludes.
inhibits our downward dog sequence.